there and compress these bad boys. Oh yeah. So, out on the farm again this weekend, it will bloody not stop raining. It has not stopped raining since I got home from overseas. It's just been absolutely ridiculous. So, today's topic, I want to talk about how to power emergency uh, communications and stuff like that when you go really remote. Um, I was only thinking about it um, a few months back. Is if I lost everything, if I lost the truck in a fire, if I lost the truck in a flood and a, or a creek crossing and I rolled and basically if I had no way of getting power back out of that truck to charge any sort of um, device or anything like that, how could I put something, how could I have a renewable power system in my grab bag in that sort of bloody scenario if it, if it ever did happen, fingers crossed it never does, but um, you can never be too careful. So. When I go overseas, because I used to travel a lot overseas, I always like to go into random camping stores that they have there and just have a look around at what sort of products and things they have. And most of the time, it's always the same sort of thing, but you occasionally get those one-off items that are unique and different to um, most of the stuff you see in other stores. So basically, I'm going to show you today what I've bought to go in my grab bag, a renewable source of power, to be able to charge my emergency devices. So it's it's by a company called systech.com. So I've already looked on their website. Unfortunately, they don't ship to Australia, but if you know someone in Europe, they may be able to, um, to buy you one and ship it to you to Australia. So I bought this from a local camping store there, um, but I have been using it to power um, things like my phone. Um, so I've been been charging my phone from it um, just to test it out make sure it's going to be reliable for what I want to do um, so I want to be able to charge things like my Garmin Overlander if I'm in an emergency this is in my grab bag obviously if I'm not using it it's in my grab bag that's where I normally put it um, but if it's mounted on the dash then I can grab it off the dash in the case of emergency um, or it's in my grab bag that I'm going to grab anyway in that scenario so I can power this unit from that um, so we have that there and also my I have an, an Iridium Go is my um, sat phone basically so this Iridium Go will turn my mobile these two here work together um, this will turn my mobile into a, uh, a sat phone so basically this is the device that I need to charge the most. If for some reason um, I forget to charge this before a trip or what, for whatever reason it's not charged, I want to be able to charge it. Yes, it has an SOS button and all the rest of it, but I still want to be able to charge this in the event of shit hitting the fan and it not a, the uh, trip not going to plan. So basically what I bought is um, this little kit here. So again, you can get these milliamp batteries from pretty much anywhere. Um, heaps of places sell them. But this is the Tough Mini that comes with this little solar panel. So this is a 60, 6700 milliamp hour. Um, so this is enough to charge my phone, to charge the Iridium Go, to charge my Garmin Overlander. But this little panel here is a really high quality uh, flexible solar panel. So it's not cheap and nasty. Um, it's made by Sistech, so very high quality up there with probably like some of the, the best Red Arc solar panels and stuff like that. Very similar sort of texture and, and build quality and stuff like that to some of those um, really high-end panels. But I just wanted a small one to fit in my grab bag. I didn't want some massive panel, just, just folds up nicely. I can take this hiking or if I'm on a real sort of just swag trip somewhere on a boat or anything like that and I want to be able to charge my phone I can take the tough mini power pack and this panel and be able to to have power to my phone so 
this will then give me the option to I can't charge it directly to the Iridium or to the Garmin Overlander but I can charge I've got to use this with the uh, the tough mini to charge so I charge the power pack from this and then the power pack will charge the Iridium Go my mobile or the Garmin Overlander so that's basically my go-to of getting out of a shitty situation if it may happen um, out wherever um, that will be my go-to power solution in that scenario if shit hits the fan so fingers crossed nothing like that ever happens but I just wanted to have a renewable source of power in my grab bag and I don't think that's something many people think about is sure you can have um, just the a battery pack like this or a larger one even the jump start um, style the big big fat ones you could have that in a grab bag but it's very heavy um, this unit here is very small I can recharge it from the Sun so it does uh, does give me all those benefits because um, yeah once once your vehicle's gone and it's burnt to the ground and you're in the middle of the desert somewhere it could be anywhere in Australia and for some reason your sat phone goes flat before you've made communication or, or set off the SOS how are you gonna how are you gonna charge it how are you gonna get power back to it to make it work to be able to hit the SOS button and make sure that a signal does go out um, with your sat phone so yeah just something to think about but be a good thing um, I'll probably do a video on my grab bag and everything that I have in it um, I haven't really done a video like that so it's probably a good video I could probably do um, so yeah guys that's that's how I'm gonna power basically my emergency devices in that situation um, using the power pack and that little that little solar panel so anyway I'm uh, just cruising around the farm at the moment I've been been testing this thing out um, this little panel and charging my phone and stuff while I'm on the farm just to make sure it's going to be reliable for me but it's working working really well quick short little video today just want to let you guys got just wanted to let you guys know that that's what I am putting in my grab bag as a power solution I'll probably do a video on the grab bag here in the next kind of month or so I'll um I'll get it all apart and do a full breakdown of it and what I've got in it it's something that I can just grab out of the vehicle so anyway Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll catch you in the uh, next one.